Okay, so I don't really know what I want to say. I just know I want to go live and now I don't even trust myself to go live because I haven't prepared anything. It's the 11th of March and I'm responding to the question, how are you, Lily? How are you, Lily? How am I? Good question. Good question. Well, you can see I'm smiling, so things are fine. And yet I have found it necessary to withdraw. I don't even have it clear in front of me. So I guess my, my job is still to go through and make these notes for myself. What I really want to do, I have notes in my manifestation journal. One of the exercises I want to do from the Crystal Women, Crystal Within. And I want to make the list of my limiting beliefs, my new empowering decision, and existing evidence for the new belief. In other words, I've recognized my feelings of lack of confidence, of inadequacy, of not being enough, have not been addressed. Look, I've got five grown, healthy sons. I've been married to their father for over 30 years. I've left my home country where I was born in Australia, made a completely new beginning in this foreign country of Austria, which is now in German, we would say my Wahlheimat my chosen home. I've worked in the Austrian economy. I got a job at the UN where I worked until the prescribed retirement age. In other words, they could not employ me any longer, even though they wanted to. I've been contributing to my NGO I've set up a number of YouTube channels supporting the various organizations that I've been contributing to. So one of the jobs I've wanted to do was also vamp up my homepage to show some of those activities that I've done. For example, the fact that Women in Nuclear has the YouTube channel that I created on their web page. My photo appears in some of the newsletters. Women's Federation, likewise. Toastmasters, the IC Club, likewise. So this, it was a health crisis. I had problems. In fact, my doctor told me my kidney hasn't been working for the last 30 years. So why is that so dramatic if it's been like that for the last 30 years? Well, yeah, I had a serious issue. I had severe acute pain and found myself in a situation where I couldn't even ask for help. I couldn't. I, I felt that I couldn't ask for help. So there are things going on inside me, things that have been going on inside me, and it resulted in me stepping down completely from frontline activities of the Women's Federation, not attending most of the recent Toastmasters meeting, not attending all the wonderful side events of the Commission on the Status of Women and the activities at the UN with the Australian ambassador and all these other things that I was really, really tempted to because I'm working on focusing and I need to really spend that time to make my lists, to clarify what do I really want? Who do I want to tell you that I am? What does it really mean for me and for you? And where do I want to go? So I've made this recording. I'm. It's so hard for me to really focus on that positivity, to, to be confident, 
to show you how great I am and how I can help you. And yet it's, I know it's this honesty, this, this compulsion to be honest and authentic that I really want to be appreciated for. Mm. The fact that I don't put myself up on a pedestal. I don't try to separate myself from others. I'm so grateful for all my wonderful mentors and all the people that are supporting me in so many different ways. And I know that this life process is a convergence, all things coming together. So even though on the one hand, I've decided to step back until I get the results from the nuclear medicine. On the other hand, I'm not allowing myself, my identity, my concept of my health, to be determined by what that doctor says. Even the urologist who told me out of the blue that my kidney is not working, but then <laughs> proclaimed it probably hasn't been working for 30 years. Okay, so you can ask, well, what, what's changed then? So what if it hasn't worked for 30 years? I've managed so far. And it's all, there's so much in the mind isn't it? So much in the mind. I've got this little gadget that I've been using the last few months, actually, since the beginning of the year. This Healy. And I'm, I'm just fascinated by the things that have come up for me in the recognition of quantum frequencies of connecting into the morphogenetic world to realize how connected spirit and body really are. And now if you haven't got a Healy and you don't know anything about quantum energies, then this might all sound like hocus pocus to you. But I just used my Healy to measure the aura of my big avocado plant and got an, such an amazing reading, which transmitted to me the feeling I've got God in my living room in this plant. I grew this plant from an avocado seed, from a fruit that I ate. I germinated that seed, tended it, cared for it, planted it. And now it's almost bigger than I am. And even though the leaves on the bottom keep drying up and falling off, New leaves are sprouting out of the top. And I love that plant. And I've got at least three other avocado trees still growing in my apartment. I had 10 and I've given many of them away. I love my plants and I've got aloe vera and I've got jade plants. And I've got another plant with orange flowers, which when they dry up, they look a bit like dandelion that you can blow away. Even though I'm living in this flat on the first floor, no ground contact, no garden, no balcony to speak of, I have these plants, which are my heaven, which are my connection to the creation and, of course, the linden balm outside the window in front of the house, which I give a hug to every time I go out the door. I am so lucky. I am so happy. 
and I have printed out my list of affirmations, which I've got to remember to carry with me, to have with me when I go to bed and wherever I go and I need to clear my desk. And there are a few other things on the list which I have not written out because I've got such a long digital list in my OneNote file. And I must be okay because I'm still bubbling over with all the projects that I still want to do, even though I've said, no, no, no Women's Federation, no Toastmasters, no this, no that, no the other. So everything must be fine because I'm still ticking away, bubbling over with all of my projects of all the things I still want to do. So don't worry about me, but I've just needed my time out because, yeah, I do want to know what the doctor says. I am curious, but quite honestly, I also believe that this frequency it, um, individual micro frequency generator is helping me also in my kidney issue. And I would not be surprised if the nuclear medicine examination comes to the conclusion there's nothing wrong with my kidneys. Everything is just fine. That's what I'm working on in my mind. And I'm still really working hard on allowing it to just flow out of me. I'm not making any effort in feeling the emotions and the frequencies of what I really want to experience, of being happy, being grateful. My dream is a three-generational home, sunshine, warmth, fresh air. Well, they're coming here in Austria. We're approaching the equinox. So, I'm fine. When you ask me, am I sick? I've got, I've had a few issues. I will never say I am sick. I am going through a phase and my body has a few challenges, but I am fine. I am doing great. I hope you are too. And let's see whether I post this or not. See you soon.